Hi there. Uh, my name is Mike Wilkinson. I'm a principal program manager in the Azure for Operators group within Microsoft. And today I'd like to talk to you about Operator Connect and how Azure for Operators accelerates Operator Connect into the marketplace today. So we've all seen the rapid growth of Teams over the last 18 months. Uh, the growth has truly been uh, exponential. Uh, today, there are something like 250 million monthly active users of Teams out there, of which about 80 million users are using the phone capability within Teams today. But going forward, we expect a lot more of those users to use the full capabilities of Teams and the telephony components within it. And by doing so, they'll turn Teams into a full PBX-like phone system. And so one of the ways to achieve that is by using a new capability called Operator Connect. I'll go on to describe Operator Connect as we go through the presentation uh, during this particular session. So what is Operator Connect? Operator Connect is a new capability from Microsoft um, which sits alongside direct routing uh, as a PSDN connectivity option into Teams. So it converts Teams from uh, a collaboration tool into a collaboration tool with a full PBX phone system with connectivity to the public network uh, within it. So originally we had something called direct routing. Direct routing was delivered by the operator uh, in conjunction with Microsoft and Teams to provide that phone system capability. But earlier this year, Microsoft released Operator Connect. It was in early March. And uh, by doing so, it's improved the user experience markedly by comparison uh, to direct routing. There are a number of different things within Operator Connect uh, which provides these enhancements. Firstly, there's a range of APIs that sit between the operator and Teams which allow the onboarding of users to be much simpler. Previously within direct routing, uh, we had systems using PowerShell technology. Now with those APIs, um, things are made extremely easy, graphically managed within the user experience of the Teams administration portal. Secondly, the connectivity between Microsoft and the operator is using Microsoft Azure peering services. This improves the, the quality of service between those two systems, which means that voice traffic is carried much more effectively. And so when you combine those things together, uh, you have a much more effective way of delivering phone services to end users. And we expect a significant increase in the utilization of phone system going forward by using Operator Connect. Operator Connect arrived in its general availability in late September this year. Today, there are something like 21 operators who are providing Operator Connect services into the marketplace. You can see a list of the names here with their logos, many of which are MetaSwitch customers. Metaswitch is a company which Microsoft acquired um, about 12 months ago alongside of firm networks. Those two companies were taken and put together within the Azure for Operators division. And hence, a lot of that technology today is starting to underpin Microsoft capability in market. Part of that capability uh, is something called a session border controller. A session border controller exists uh, between different parts of networks. So between one, ne one network, which could be the operator and Microsoft, or could be an enterprise and uh, an operator. Uh, and it, it, it is, if you will, would call a voice related firewall, but it's a very important part of technology, um, which is central to the delivery of Operator Connect services. Previously, with direct routing, the session border controller typically existed in the enterprise network. But now with Operator Connect, that capability is moved 
into the service provider environment, either in the service provider cloud or within Azure itself. Metaswitch and Azure for Operators provides a session border controller today. Its name is Perimeter. It's deployed in over 600 operators worldwide, um, and it is one of the leading products in the marketplace. Perimeter um, supports both direct routing and operator connect use cases um, in delivering Teams-based uh, collaboration. It was also the first session border controller in the market to be certified for supporting Azure communication services, uh, which is the latest primitive-based comms service capability uh, coming from the Azure and Microsoft portfolio. So we're very confident Perimeter is a very good solution uh, for delivering both Operator Connect and direct routing and for underpinning future real-time services which are coming from Microsoft. But employing perimeter and session border controllers, especially in operator networks, can be time-consuming. So when, when you look to deploy Operator Connect services, what are some of the, the challenges that we see operators running into today? Well, Firstly, there's the development of the APIs between um, the operator and teams themselves. Those APIs have to be developed in the operator OSS, BSS system. Secondly, they have to stand up a fleet of SBCs and manage and maintain them, configure them for operator connect services. They need to be certified to run in an operator connect environment. Um, and there's a range of testing to make all of that possible. So that can take quite some time. Um, some of the operators in the public preview um, took many months to get their services up and running. And so what we decided to do was look at ways to see if we could shortcut that and make it quicker for operators to deliver Operator Connect services, which means that there's going to be a greater coverage of PSDN connectivity into the market, and the whole team's phone system market moves forward a lot more quickly. So what is that capability? Um, well, this is the, the Metaswitch managed SBC for Operator Connect. So this is Metaswitch taking its perimeter SBC, deploying it, within Azure for an operator in their tenancy and managing the perimeter software on the operator's behalf. Secondly, we take a perimeter and we have capability within it alongside some OSS development to make sure that we can deliver the APIs for the operator to connect into Teams so they don't have to worry about that. As we said, we manage and maintain it and we can help with the certification process as well. What that means is that we can get uh, an operator stood up, ready to deliver service around Operator Connect in around 30 days. That allows the market to move forward extremely quickly. Um, and the service is something that we uh, will be delivering within Azure globally. So when we say globally, what do we mean? Um, well, today uh, we have capability in North America, Europe, and Asia. So we can pretty much cover the entire globe um, within various different Azure POPs. As we said, uh, the service itself is managed um, within the Azure tenancy of the particular operator. So it's a pretty effective solution. Um, it's designed pretty much uh, for operators today, uh, and we expect it to be utilized uh, right throughout the market over the coming um, 12 to 18 months. So what are the benefits of this type of solution? First of all, as I said, it's, it's stood up in 30 days, so it's extremely rapid. Um, you know, it gets operators who can typically take many months to move from A to B, um, to get into market within about 30 days. Um, it's pretty low risk. We're managing the technology build uh, on behalf of the operator. 
And the operator themselves uh, can basically just leave it to us and in effect press the easy button uh, for us to make this happen. Because uh, MetaSwitch is part of Azure for operators, um, we have the ability to align quite closely with the, the Teams group in terms of future technology. Uh, and as a result of that, you know, the product itself um, is extremely future-proof when you look at it by comparison to what you will need going forward um, with Teams PSTN phone technology. And uh, we expect that to see a roadmap which is closely aligned um, with Teams going forward. Indeed, when MetaSwitch came into Microsoft through the acquisition last year, one of the first things we did um, was a fairly extensive program uh, to enhance the direct routing and operator connect capability um, to deliver into market. Part of the MetaSwitch focus um, within Azure for operators is to look at how we bring a lot of these real-time services together to achieve what we could call carrier class capability. So the managed SPC uh, solution for Operator Connect today um, will be achieving 4.9's capability straight out of the gate. And we expect that to improve over time um, as we roll the service out on, in a broader and broader scenario. And then finally, as I mentioned before, its capability is one of being pretty low impact um, into uh, the operator's environment. You know, our intent is to take much of the heavy lifting away from the operator so that you know, they can get into market with a high quality um, Microsoft Align based solution, um, which gives them a powerful range of options for delivering PSTN services uh, into um, their customer base. Okay, um, so, so that's about it. Um, I'd like to thank everybody today uh, for their time. But before I go, I'd just like to leave you with uh, a couple of things. First of all, um, some further information on our managed SPC for Operator Connect. Um, so that's on the link on the slide. And then secondly, if you need to know a lot more information, feel free to contact us in Azure for Operators. The link's there. Um, just fill out the form and we'll come back to you and uh, we can go into a lot more detail. Again, thanks for your time.